Hello, hello, I'm Snook Nukwa. Alina and Squatchicha, Chalat Machlgan, Muta Hachlat Machlgan. This is my first time making a video on this little camera, so I hope uh, you can hear me and see just fine. Uh, I want to tell you about this book that I just got um, by Carrie Coast. It's called The Colonial Present The Rule of Ignorance and the Role of Law in British Columbia. Carrie Coast has been living in our Statlium communities for a long time. She's um, done a lot of admirable work regarding um, the land theft and occupation going on here since contact uh, in the late 1800s. Uh, she's shed a lot of light on um, the, the settler and colonial regime that has taken over here and claims this territory as their own, um, when in fact um, we are living uh, on unceded, unsurrendered Statlium territory. Our ancestors have never surrendered this land to anyone. Um, there are no treaties here. So um, projects like this, I feel, are really important, and um, I'm really grateful that this is out. So I just want to um, show it to you, um, and maybe I'll um, put an email in the description where you can get your own copy of this. I'm going to start reading it now. I just wanted to um, share it with you because I'm so excited. Um, <clears throat> I just want to read the back for you. Uh, I hope it doesn't take too long. It says, No treaties were made with Indigenous nations residing in those territories where now there is a Canadian province called British Columbia. Instead, a breathtaking policy of criminalization, assimilation, and extinguishment of sovereignty and land rights has been carried out against them. Present-day governments continue this approach, now 150 years old, in processes which have recently been renamed and cosmetically improved, but remain unconstitutional and are prohibited by the 1948 Genocide Convention. Why do people of BC seek the dissolution of some 30 distinct Indigenous nations? Why do they cry, one law for all Canadians, in answer to Indigenous efforts to exercise their right of self-determination? BC's economy relies on resource extraction from lands and waters that have never been ceded, sold, or surrendered to them by their Indigenous owners. What's more, recognition of this fact has given rise to what is called the uncertainty principle, currently impeding foreign investment as judicious investors fear doing business with governments and others whose claims to ownership may be proved illegitimate. The Indigenous nations have suffered excruciating losses. The ongoing colonization of British Columbia relies on the settler population's indifference to the Indigenous people's plights and rights. The colonial present documents how the interests of resource industries have dominated the accounts of Indigenous peoples throughout the mainstream media, the academic presses, and the courts. This has substantially corrupted and impoverished the non-native understanding of Indigenous peoples on whose homelands they live and work, and to which they seem to feel entitled. This book is an exploration of how such a stunning string of events has happened, and British Columbians' continuing attempts to rationalize them. So I'm going to start reading this book, and I'll keep you all posted. Um, I'm going to start today. I can't wait, because... This needs to be talked about more. We need to teach our children. We need to remind them every day that our land has never been ceded nor surrendered. And we need to raise them up as warriors to defend this territory. Everybody has a part that they can play in the taking back of our territories. And it's rightfully ours. We're not doing anything wrong. We're not doing anything wrong by saying this is all our land. We're not doing anything wrong by defending it. That's the wish of the Creator. And that's our duty to the earth. And we have to follow through. So check out this book and I'll keep you posted. Thank you so much.